Tonight, the Hamilton County prosecutor is reviewing an eight year old suicide. It comes after Cincinnati Public Schools releases surveillance video showing what happened to the boy two days before his death. Local 12 Sydney Benter is here with the video and what the boy's mother is saying tonight. Sydney. Rob, tonight we're hearing from Gabriel Taillet's mother for the first time. Cornelia Reynolds issued a statement saying she'd give anything to have her son back and that she feels cheated and robbed. She says she's going to be Gabe's voice now. And today, other parents joined in. Protect the children! Parents of students at Carson School took to the sidewalk demanding justice for Gabe. They think bullying is a problem at the elementary school in West Price Hill. We're out here for the children, to protect our children and uh, make sure the school starts to do something about the bullying. The demonstration coincides with the release of surveillance video from the school. It all follows inquiries into an incident that happened at the school just days before Gabriel Taillé committed suicide. Administrators at Cincinnati Public Schools say they've released the video to be completely transparent. A camera outside a boy's bathroom captures what the detective on the case refers to as bullying that might even be considered criminal assault. Keep an eye on the boy in the red coat. The detective refers to him as the primary agitator. He's in the bathroom with a few other boys when Gabe walks in. There's some activity that's hard to decipher, but when the boy in the red coat steps away, Gabe is left lying on the floor. He remains there for several minutes as students come and go. Some seem to nudge him, others check on him. Four and a half minutes later, an administrator enters the bathroom. He's followed by other staff members and eventually the school nurse. Administrators say Gabe never indicated that he had been hit, yanked, pulled, pushed, or assaulted in any way. He told them he fell and later that he fainted. Gabe's mom says if she'd known what happened in that bathroom, she would have taken him to the hospital right away and likely wouldn't have sent him back to school. Two days later, she found him dead. Gabe's mom says she wants parents to make sure their children know it's okay to reach out if someone is hurting them. Gabe was her only child. Rob. Sydney, thanks very much. Cincinnati Public says it's now reviewing its procedures regarding adult supervision in the rest.